morning guys I thought I would um well I'm whispering because Bryce is still asleep but I thought I might do like a week in a life vlog of me teaching commuting full-time I was actually up early this morning and had some extra time so I was like oh break out the camera except my nose is running so much it's so disgusting and I'm trying to move over some stuff so I can edit on the train oh not a good start <laughs> I'm gonna wake up Bryce soon because he's gonna drop me at the station today and yeah I don't know Gonna see if I can try and move this stuff over without my nose dripping on my keyboard because I'm so sick. Um, I do really have to go to work today because I've just got so much to do, but yeah, I'll try and take you along with me as best as I can. I'm trying to film but it is pouring with rain and I have like all of my tech gear in my bag and just praying it doesn't get wet. Oh this is not a nice Monday to start with. Yuck I just feel like so gross. Anyway I'm heading to school now. I'm actually having a bit of a late one this morning um, so I'm sure I'll have plenty of work to do when I get there. So this is the current state of my like life, my desk my papers, my, this is our projects. It's just like the rest of the room's okay, but literally this is what my life looks like at the moment. It's very busy, it is very messy. I wish that I had stuff together as much as it looks like probably on Instagram, but this is real life, this is classroom teaching, and this is my RFF, which is awesome because it means I can get some admin stuff done, which is like 90% of a job. <laughs> Um, so I'll take you with me while I'm doing that, I think. Okay, so I have conquered, sorry, I'm so sick at the moment. I'm so gross and snotty. Um, I have conquered the homework book pile. Um, now on to the 50 million other jobs that I need to do today. Welcome to Monday. Probably one of the bigger jobs that I just neglect is cleaning up my desk every afternoon. I normally like just leave it, to be honest. It just accumulates until it gets like unbearable and then I clean it. Um, so I probably should not do that and actually clean it like every day. That's something maybe a term to go to try and do that. But I don't know. It just it becomes like the black hole where everything goes missing. Um, any like loose things, kids find they just chuck on my desk. And I'm like, oh. So I also need maybe like a basket, <laughs> a loose things basket. But it's just another thing that you have to worry about, that you have to empty, that you have to clean. So I don't know. The next attempt will be cleaning this desk. So I've been having the craziest day. It was wet weather, so the kids were inside for like lunch and then oh, they just go crazy in the weather. <laughs> it was okay. And then I had a meeting this afternoon for the leadership team about our external validation. And now I'm sitting at my computer. It's still, it's 4.30 now. I'm kind of listening to a podcast while I'm doing some emails and things. Um, I'm just trying to organize my life and I really need to clean my room because it's looking very sad but that's for another time I think I don't know I'm gonna answer some of these now
All right, it's like five, what's time? 5.40, so I think it's time to go home. Definitely not living that uh, nine till three life at the moment. Who was Chloe's first husband? Tristan Thompson. No, it wasn't. I don't know. <laughs> you do James know. No. How do I know? What? Who did they play for? The Lakers. In the thing. Where did she drop? A, ne uh, a ring. Was it? She dropped it. No, an earring or something like that. Yeah. And one of them's like, <laughs> Ethiopians are starving in the world. They worry about stupid earrings. <laughs> That's exactly the quote. Good job. Yeah. So Bryce and I are finally home. We went to dinner at his parents' house. And now I've come home to, well just to be home I guess, haven't come home to do anything in particular, but I'm about to unpack my bag for the day because if I don't, things stay in there for a long time. Um, but yeah, I take a backpack to school. I take a backpack to school every day because on the train and stuff you just need to like chuck something over your shoulder. Check out my lunchbox, it's so fun. It says friends. And also right now we're watching. It's currently pretty, like, not late or anything, but, like, late to get home on a school night. Um, it's quarter to nine, so I'm going to now unpack, checking out this cool hair that my hair is doing right this moment. <laughs> I'm going to unpack and have a shower and take whatever makeup is left on my face off and hang with my husband. How was your day? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm like, tired. It's Monday. Okay. I'm doing like week in a life teacher, but it's not very exciting and I feel like people are just going to be like, this is boring, but it's like, that's my life, real life. Sorry. That's, yeah. Sorry. Whacking me in the head. Sorry. <laughs> This is my car lighting because it is still dark because it's very, very early in the morning so I could get a park at the station. Yesterday Bryce dropped me off so I got to go a little bit later. Um, but this morning I'm here very early so I can get the early train. And I'm half asleep and very <coughs> ill. I'm not feeling good at all. So um, I'm going to normally, depending on the time, which my watch is not telling me. Oh, please tell me it's not dead. No, oh, it's dead. Um, I've got about 10 minutes till the train comes, so I don't think I have enough time to do my makeup in the car, which I would sometimes. So I'll do it on the train like I did yesterday. And I don't know who's beeping who. Um, yeah, just do lots of things on the train like I do every day. I try to make sure I have like a podcast or like a YouTube to watch downloaded um, if I'm not doing work. But today I think I'm editing, so... That will be really fun and let's head to day two it's Tuesday it's raining <coughs> I'm not feeling very well but that's okay because it's week nine which means there's only two more weeks of just school. all right so I'm setting out some of our reading activities and I did this yesterday I don't know how long it will last but I like put our Chromebooks colored tape and little flags so the kids know like the right way to set them up I don't know why these ones are always red but um, I don't know this will last probably be about 30 seconds before it all gets messed up again but I would hope that it looks like this at the end I think I'm gonna actually take a photo of it and put the photo up here so they are reminded how it's meant to look and hopefully it will look that way so pretty much that is my setup for reading groups. I'm not going to put all the chairs down because the kids can do that when they come in. It's just more work that I don't need to do right this second. But we've got our read and respond, which is making predictions. It's like inferences what might happen next because we are focusing on predicting at the moment as our comprehension strategy. We are using our Teach Data journal cards and we are obviously in June so the kids get to pick whichever like prompts they want. I normally get them to write 
um, half a page to a page because it's only about 25 minutes, half an hour today. Then we've got our laptops where we do Typing Club or we can do Reading Express. And then we've also got our readers for today, which are, this lighting is shocking, but our readers for today facing the future. And I've got this little guided reading caddy so I can just pull over guided reading resources that are separate from our other resources, which includes like our big writing things, highlighters, markers for the whiteboard table and some pencils and things to complete any activities that go with our reading. This is just a schmuzzle, but that's okay. We just, we let it be a schmuzzle. And I've really just come to the realization that the room is way too overcrowded. So one of my jobs, either in the holidays or after the holidays, I don't know, is to clean it for open day and make sure there's not so much going on because I worry that it's a little bit distracting for people. Um, and myself, it's just like, there's too much going on. I love color, I love all these things, but I think that I went a little bit overboard at the start of the year and I need to start stripping it back a little bit. But pretty much now I'd spend the rest of the morning now that I've set up just um, answering any emails that I got overnight or filling out awards or whatever needs to be done. And this is another thing I tried to do but I'm a little bit bad at remembering is actually write down what we're doing in the day so the kids know. I will be very keen to see this project done because it's just making so much mess in our room. This is just like, like crazy and they're everywhere, which is like lovely. I love that they're really into it and it's really exciting for them, but this is mess upon mess upon mess. And I can tell every teacher getting so annoyed that their classrooms are so messy, but a messy classroom sometimes can mean really great learning. So I went up to collect some printing and it wasn't there and I was like, oh, the printer. And then I came back and I realized I didn't press print. So I quickly grabbed a yogurt on the way because I'm on duty today and I just feel like I'm probably not going to be able to eat. <laughs> so I was like, I'll quickly eat now while I have like 30 seconds. Um, I have RFF today. I have RFF Monday and Tuesday. I put my hair up. I'm gonna get some work done. I'm gonna go get my printing now and just like smash out as much work as possible. I have picked up my reports from the principal and I've made my edits, so that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I've still got a way to go, so. Oh my gosh, week nine is crazy. Might not look like I'm doing lots of things, but I'm doing lots of things that I just can't film because I can't for the kids. Hello. I keep getting interrupted by kids and I'm like so scared that they're gonna be like, what are you doing with the camera? I'm talking to a camera. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to go print, pick up my printing now and yeah, it's just, it's so busy and I feel like I can't really show you how busy I am because I'm trying to film in between doing busy jobs and I can't really film the busy jobs because there's kids, there's names, there's things that you don't need to see. So. Uh. Now I actually put this mirror above here for a reason because lots of kids come and visit us to borrow the laptops for the day and they get to look at themselves and read this little quote to know how wonderful they are. So I thought that was probably the most um, looked at place in our room because we have so many visitors they can come and do this and I change the quotes on this pretty frequently. So I looked on the maths program and this um, Next lesson is position, so introduction to position. So I'm going to lay out a big grid on our floor that we can use as an interactive grid. Alright, it's not perfect, but it will do. I'm going to actually use the numbers off my... It's so wonky, actually, now that I look at it. Oh, goodness. It's fine. I'm actually not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to use some numbers from here and maybe some letters from around the room to do the grid reference because um, you don't need to make individual things for every single lesson you do. Do it on the fly. Do it quick. This will do. They'll still understand the concept. You don't have to have a perfect grid. 
So I've just used the numbers off our calendar and the letters off our board, which we're not using at the moment, so it's fine, to use on our very wonky grid. And normally I just put out some items and ask the kids to direct something there. We might even go and get the bee bots for some positional things. Did you want it to go to the bank? Okay, so we made it to the end of the day. I'm just going to get my desk ready because tomorrow I'm at a professional learning, so I've got a casual coming in. I finally booked one at like the last minute. Um, so I'm gonna give her a call now and let her know what's going on. And I've printed out all the stuff ready for tomorrow, so it should be a fairly simple day. Everything goes to plan as normal. Um, and then just clean up the classroom because it's looking a little bit average. Um, the project situation is next to crazy. Like this corner is just giving me too much stress. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, we need to be done with this project ASAP. So I'm going to clean up a little bit. I'm not going to clean up totally because you know what? I need to go home and be a human and cook a proper dinner tonight because I'm just like putting school ahead of my life a lot lately. And it's just so easy to do. Alright, so I'm going to update my like daily timetable on the board and leave a board question as well. Just something fun so the kids remember me while I'm gone. No, it's fun just to like interact with them even if you're not here for the day. <laughs> So I normally leave a little question on the board, um, not most days, but like try to do like one a week. Um, so this one says, where in the world is Mrs. Sainty today? Because I told them I wasn't going to be here, but I didn't tell them why. And I thought this is very cute. Um, so tomorrow I've set up their may do's, must do's and sorry, must do's, may do's and catch ups. So to make sure no one's like, what do we do next? And that the casual doesn't give them something really random. So that's meaningful things that they can do. They can answer the question and that's kind of the layout of our day tomorrow. And I don't tend to write maths and, not maths. I don't tend to write lunch and recess in there because that could flow through whenever tomorrow. So we'll just <laughs> wait and see. I'm gonna quickly clean up my desk because I'm trying to clean it every afternoon now. Not doing an awesome job at that. And I'm going to go home before 4.30, hopefully, today. That would be really good. This is my bee hat from a lesson today where I pretended to be a bee bot. This is pretty much life of a primary school teacher. Okay, can I just say this is why you become a teacher when you get things like this that kids make in their own time <laughs> using sheets that they found in the scrap paper bin that we didn't need but they filled this in it was so cute so it's got from our sensational settings if you follow me on instagram you would have seen us do this mrs sainty in a park so there's a picture of me and then it's written really beautiful things about all the different senses but that literally makes me want to cry every day when people do things like that it's so sweet and i got like this cute little note for a girl that's leaving um the end of this term and it was like Oh, it was just really cute. She's like, can I please have your address to send you letters when I'm gone? Like, that is so cute. So, <laughs> if people ask me why I'm a teacher, that's the reason. It is not the reporting and the admin. I'll tell you that. Also, my voice is sounding very terrible. I'm going to clean up my desk. I'm going to go home. I keep saying that. I need to stop. I need to stop. So I'm going to turn off everything now. I'm going to go home and it's only like four o'clock. So I'm like, this is such an early mark. Um, board off. 
that light is already off. I've just put down as well the readers for tomorrow so no one gets confused as to where they are. And I've also put out our, you know, group set up, the laptops they can go out tomorrow. Hey guys, I just took my hair out because it's literally giving me a headache. So I'm sorry that it looks the way it does. Not that it's any worse than that bun that it was in. Um, I'm gonna actually meal prep um, my lunch for the next two days. Um, it's gonna be a bit random because it's like not a meal prep meal. It's not like healthy. This is not a health food vlog. <laughs> this is not a what I eat in the day. This is my teacher life, which is busy, messy, probably unhealthy. Um, so I'm going to make a halloumi salad, which is like my favorite thing to have because I have this really good dressing, um, which is actually expired, but I'm going to have it anyway. And I don't really care. It probably make me sick, but oh well. Um, so in my halloumi salad, I have halloumi, obviously, um, bacon, coarse lettuce, a boiled egg, the dressing, and if I had them, I would use croutons, but I don't have any croutons. So I don't know if I should bother like making croutons or I'll just leave it. I'll probably just leave it, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, that's just like a fun salad that I like to eat during the week. Um, yeah, and it's really easy to prep and it doesn't take very long. And there's not many ingredients, so that's the dream. And I actually know how to make it by myself because I'm an adult. Sarah, you've worked all day. What are you doing? Working some more. So I've already cooked my like lunch thing. I will cook dinner later when Bryce is home. So I'm gonna transfer over like footage. This is like probably the worst part about doing like high quality footage that it takes like 10 bajillion years to send over. And then sometimes it doesn't even look like good quality. So I'm gonna try and send that stuff over now to my little SSD, which is just not good enough and needs like way more storage but I'm just taking too many videos that it doesn't know how to handle what I'm trying to do. Mystery meal. We'll see what it tastes like. Probably not very good. Who's that meal? It's mystery. It's mystery. Beanie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be very good. I'm sorry. It is not good. Are you laughing at me? I thought it would taste okay. It's not not good. It's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you put something in your mouth and you're eating it, but it just it doesn't taste like anything. There's no flavor. There's no flavor. I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't care. I'll eat it. So Bryce and I are sitting um, at the bench and we're discussing finances, which is not like the most fun thing, but something that's very important since moving out. And we're trying to work out how to do a weekly shop that makes sense and we don't have so much wastage or things going off or it comes to today, like that mystery meal where we didn't have like any meat um, or veg that like matched. So we're trying to work out them for the week and it's very interesting and we think we're going to do like a Coles or whatever online and then just do like an alternate week I don't know got any tips Good morning guys, I'm sitting in my car doing my makeup in very poor lighting because it is Wednesday, I woke up way too early. Uh, no, that's a lie. I didn't wake up too early. I woke up late, not late, but I just like couldn't get out of bed. And then I like rushed around home being like, ah, oh, 
I'm gonna be late I'm gonna be late and then I was a little bit early to the train station so my train doesn't come for a little while yet so I'm gonna quickly put makeup on here instead of on the train um, I'm not gonna lie last night I had a very big cry I had a bit of a breakdown obviously I'm not gonna pull the camera out when something like that happens um, but I am being honest that last night I really really like cried it out um, I think just over like a mix of things like school and I think I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to do this YouTube thing and I'm like oh, just so stressed that like no one's gonna watch it um, people are gonna say horrible things like I just that's so stupid to like even worry about like who cares I'm really doing this for me and for whoever wants to know what goes on you know in my life um, which should be all the people that you know care so I don't know why I'm getting so fussed on that um, but I'm just really scared about like editing schedules and stuff and trying to get work done because I worked probably from yesterday like from waking up at 5 30 I probably worked on the train from like 7 until about 11 o'clock All right, good morning guys. I am now at school and I'm just going to quickly set up for reading groups for today so that my casual, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure she knows what's going on, but I just want to set it up so it's like ready to go and no one's confused about what to do. Um, then I'm going to head off on my course with a girl from work, which will be really fun. And we're going to a ADHD in school Course, so that should be very interesting um, I'm hoping to learn a lot because I think that's something that I probably don't have enough um, professional development in or that much knowledge about but something that's very prevalent in lots of classrooms so should be good I'm out of breath <laughs> I'm gonna turn the lights on so everyone can see very important Friend has just texted me she's ready to go so I'm going to leave what I've done and I'm sure the casual can work the rest out. Um, let's go! Hello so I thought I would check in. I have been on my PD today and I have been on the train and now I'm home at like a somewhat light time hour. Light time? Daytime. Daytime hour. Um, so I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm going to head to my mum and dad's now because I normally try and see them today and I have dancing tonight which is making me very excited and I just want to say <laughs> I actually ran into some people today at the PD that were like we follow you on Instagram and I was like that's so nice like I just like I love when people actually come up and say hi and like talk to you about teaching and stuff it's so fun um but then I got really self-conscious and I just like was stressing like a good chunk of the time being like oh like I hope they um like me and hope that I'm normal enough in real life that, I don't know that I've like appeared the same I think I do but I don't know I might not and I got so nervous that when I went to the bathroom because I knew they were in there I like could not go to the toilet like I couldn't pee because I was so like self-conscious so <laughs> it was really good but I, was, I had dummy pains because I was like oh and I fell over and I tripped like tripped and I spilled my coffee and I spilled my food like I was just so clumsy and embarrassing because I was just so stressed that they were gonna think that I was like a weirdo so I hope you don't think I'm a weirdo just normal person um, and I'm gonna drive and probably not do this at the same time because that's probably not that safe hi guys so I'm sitting in my car I'm about to go into my dance class and this is my like relief from the week to um, yeah do something for me um, see some teacher friends actually that go to this dance class too and just be a human and do some exercise because it's very hard to squeeze an exercise when you're commuting um, unless you get up at like 4 a.m. Um, or you exercise at 9 p.m. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do now I love it it's really fun and it's a good way to just like not think about school <laughs>
All right, good morning, everybody. Sorry that I've been a little bit um, non-verbal in the morning. <laughs> it's because I'm literally trying to just not wake up my husband. Um, although he did drop me at school today, which was lovely. Um, it's Thursday, we're nearly at the end of the week. This has felt like the longest week ever and I'm not sure if it's just because I've been vlogging or because it's like week nine and we're almost at the end. Um, but I'm excited to just spend the day with my kids today and get a lot of work done. The projects are coming along really well. I think they got a fair bit done yesterday, which is really good. And we're just gonna smash out some like really good content today. And I'm gonna put in the last of my results so I can put my reports in their little slips and send them on home. Cause I'm like, be gone reports, be gone. Okay, just updating some things due to the emailing. I run like a few groups and things at school and a few activities. So I've got to update like timetables for those. I've got to send out a note to say that um, the soloist for choir is due tomorrow. <laughs> if you put your name down, I've got to audition them tomorrow. So yeah, there's lots of little things that I think teachers do that go missed. Hey guys, so we made it to the end of the day. I am going to write up a new whiteboard for tomorrow. And it was just like a really busy day. Again, I couldn't film a lot because I can't film the kids' faces, a school emblem, anything like that. So I have to be really careful. And I probably had to blur out a fair bit in this vlog um, just so I can put up any clips. So I'm doing that. And oh, I, I do have some time this afternoon. I've gone and helped. Um, supervise some kids for the school performance and now I've got a few minutes to quickly update my board clean out my desk and I'm gonna head home because tonight we're going to watch Bryce's students perform in their school performance um, and they're doing Greece so that will be really fun to go and watch So at our school we have the four B's which are be proud, be prepared, be safe, be respectful and this term we've been focusing on proud. So I said what have you been proud of this term and I'm hoping they will write something half decent on the board. <laughs> And you have to just take away that they're kids, they write it really messy and don't do it as aesthetically pleasing as you'd want. But my writing is not that aesthetically pleasing so I cannot judge. And I always get, this is my little hack, I get the ideas for these little drawings from Art Hub for Kids. Um, I did some more Art Hub for Kids stuff over here, our whales, and then I just kind of, you know, try to personalise it with the background and our toucans as well were an Art Hub for Kids really super fun art activity so yeah i find art help for kids like the most invaluable resource and they have a youtube channel which i actually really want to start like decluttering the room but i'm not even sure where to start because it's just so messy um i'm going to take down some stuff that you know has been like just related to this term I'm gonna start stripping that now but things like this like our welcome names i want to keep up because it's very warm and inviting when you come into a room you see your name in there and that you tells you it's like that's my class I belong here so I'm gonna keep that up but the other stuff I'm gonna I think I'm gonna actually take the art down so we can do new art so I clicked up all these artworks and give them out tomorrow I think I might even put them in the kids cubby to do with their name actually I'm gonna let a kid do that tomorrow that can be a job one of our Friday jobs we have a little bit of a job time on a Friday where we kind of clean up the room we've got our cute little um, cabbies where we like put stuff in as we finish off the day or if they're away I put like missing notes in there or homework or whatever. One job I am going to do today is put all of these in the rubbish bin outside because they're all broken. I started with six, uh, six or five, no I started with six and one broke and then I replaced it so I had seven all up and I only have one left and they all have like mixed legs because I just chopped and changed whatever legs actually weren't broken but now they're all broken so I'm gonna go put them in the bin so they're not taking up 90% of my cupboard space. Okay. 
I don't really want to show the area that I'm in just to keep some privacy but I do a long uphill walk every single day that takes about 12 minutes and I do the downhill in the morning to get to work. Stressing for no reason. It's going to be good. <laughs> it is good. I'm proud. Good, thanks. All right, let's go eat okay. some food. I'm so So Bryce and I are heading to his music students' uh, school musical tonight, and they're doing Grease, which I actually know Grease, and I'm going to be stoked to watch that. So that will be so fun. Woo! Bryce has just finished work. We just had dinner with his family um, because we didn't have much time in between. Um, getting to the school, so we're heading there now very very quickly, gonna find a park and head in to watch the musical. Hey guys, so it's uh, ten to, 5 to 10 um, and we're finally home. The musical was awesome. I was really proud of Bryce's um, students because I've heard them practicing and they just did such a good job. It was so cool to see and I was getting all like teary and I'm like I don't even know them that well but I was just like so proud and Bryce was so proud of them as well. It was really cool. Anyway, tomorrow's Friday, um, I run Zumba like dance tomorrow and then we're actually all going out as a staff so I have to like bring a change of clothes but after I do Zumba dance I'm like a sweaty mess so that will be very interesting and they're getting changed and going out. Um, I'm not actually sure what we're doing tomorrow night, we're just all like our stage runs at the end of term. Hold on, Bryce is at the door, he was putting the car away. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, Welcome yes. So our stage actually, uh, sorry, our school lets every stage run like a night out every term. Um, we did ours last term and we did like a scavenger hunt and on Friday we're doing something but we're not told what it is until Friday so we just have to like pay 20 bucks and we've got something happening so we'll just see um, which should be really fun but I'm going to D makeup and have a shower and all those things and we'll probably watch some TV and then go to bed get ready for the last day of the week Friday Good morning guys I'm on the train this morning there's like next to no one on here so I'm not like so embarrassed but um I don't think I said good morning this morning <laughs> so I forgot to brush my teeth because I was in such a rush. So I'm gonna have to go buy some gum or like a toothbrush or something in the shops like this morning. It. It and sense. it's a sport day, but I've had that it's rained out, so I'm not sure what we're doing today. I'm just play it here like we do every other day. It's like the biggest thing about teaching. You kind of get, a, get over the fact that nothing ever goes to plan. <laughs> and you have a schedule and you may as well just rip it out, throw it out the door every day. Good morning guys, I feel so self-conscious now that my window is like totally exposed and everyone can see in. Um, good thing I don't have much foot traffic just by my room, like near it, yeah. Um, oh, today is going to be busy, I just found out I'm going to take on some more kids for like Zumba. It's not really Zumba because I'm not like Zumba certified but it's like dance fitness and we do like push-ups and sit-ups and planking challenges and stuff like that so that'll be really fun and we've got like a mix of year three to year six today so it'll be very interesting to see them compete against each other um i don't know what i'm really like i have so many things to do but i'm kind of like what do i do first um i don't know i'm gonna go check in with my colleagues and see what they're up to this morning i'm gonna i think i'm going to spend time doing our projects we got a spelling test this morning and then projects, and then sport, and then I'm running a singing um, soloist audition this afternoon um, during singing time. So it's a very busy day. It doesn't seem that busy. You must be like, oh, do you even teach during that time? I do. It's very busy. <laughs> Fridays are like almost one of the most busy days.
I'm about to head out to Judy. I've got my Judy hat. <laughs> it doesn't fit on my head because my head is so big. And I've got my beautiful fluoro vest because I'm trendy. And I've also got a park run because it's so cold even though it's sunny. So I had like 30 seconds before duty so I'm just quickly updating my casual notes for Monday. I'm actually at school but we're doing planning day so it's when our whole stage comes together to plan. Quickly doing that, answering emails oh, in the like 30 seconds I have to actually get stuff done. Um, so I quickly went to the toilet. I got my like scoffed out my lunch which is normally a Friday. And there's about the gotta go. So I don't think I was able to put in any clips. If I was, that's great. If I just came back from teaching dance for two hours and my face is like on fire red and I was so sweaty. I've stopped sweating now because I like rub my face. But I was just really dripping in sweat. It was so gross, but the kids loved it. And I really loved that they come up to me after and they're like, oh, do we get to do it again next week? And I'm like, no, but I love that you loved it because that makes me feel really good. So we made it through, we're at week 9 and Friday and we're actually all about to go out and do like a staff night out so it's going to be really fun, like a social and all my kids wrote really cute things on the board so I'm keen to just go So guys, it's Friday night, I'm finally home. Actually, I had a very late one with this stuff. So it's now 11.30 um, and I'm gonna go to bed because I've now lost my voice because we just like played games and it was so fun and sung and danced and just was so like, had a really good time. So now finally home, lost my voice so I need to just go to bed I reckon. And thank you so much for watching this vlog. I know it was really probably very, very long because I had so much to add to it. Um, but hopefully you got a bit of an idea of what my week in life is as a teacher. However, every week's different. We definitely do not go out every Friday night. We definitely go to bed by eight o'clock, which is what I normally do. So I'm gonna go and crash now and I'll see you soon. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly.